Lynn Spring has been excused and Charlie George has um, been excused. Um, Paul at this point is absent and then Peter on pieces is absent. So I'll start off by apologizing for not uh, miscommunicating and not letting the library know that tonight is the night for them. Uh, so they're not here to give their presentation. Um, it's usually a fairly quick one, so I'm sure we can put it in for another few minutes. Uh, we did have water and sewer originally planned, but we pushed that off. Have we got a date yet on, on that off? Um, there was a date, but I forget what it was. That's the part from the house. Um, That's what happened in the budget. Then it's all in short. The heat never works in here during the day. The heat never works in here during the day. So it gets warm in here. It is warm. Um, so are you going to reschedule the library for the 20th and now that you're back in town? That sounds like a good plan. What's the, sorry, what are the 20th? <laughs> It's wreck in town if you move the library there. Oh. As well. People. Oh. 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 So as far as the minutes go, I have it listed here, but I didn't see a draft of them from Salome. Did you see any? Um, <laughs> yes, I think she sent me a draft. I thought she sent it to the whole group, but she may not have, so I'll forward them along. Okay. We can approve those ones next time. Um, and so with no presentation from the library, the, the next one up would be the town clerk. So. <laughs> Here I am. So, Kate, go ahead and make your presentation. Well, my uh, presentation to the board, uh, is, well, I made it last year to the board and to the budget committee, and they felt that I should bring it back to the board, which I did. Um, and I still am not overly happy. I um, determined today by looking at my salary set from the time I started here six years ago, I've been bumped up $2.50, which I know some of you work in the private sector, and it's not a lot of money for somebody in six years who's made as many improvements as I have for the town. Um, and each year, you know, I have a different board, different group, so um, one year they wanted me to do a job description, so we did that. And then another year, they wanted me to do a, um, they wanted to form a committee, which I told them was difficult to do because you can't compare apples to apples, because in some towns, the tax collectors do autos, and the town clerks do elections, dirt, death, birth, marriages, so they're like two jobs combined. So after the end of that committee, it really came out to nothing, because you can't compare. You know, each town and city is a little bit different. So that was another year. And then um, I did keep track of my hours for elections, and uh, I work an enormous amount of hours for elections. And I wanted my stipend to go up to five hundred dollars, which still didn't cover all the hours that I'll work during an election. And keep in mind that's only the years that I have multiple elections. Like this up and coming year, I've got four elections, but that drops down to one. So it's not every year that I would be getting that amount of money. Um, and that was reduced from 500 to 300. So I just want to say that I'm really thrilled with the way the town is going. I see them improving with our administrator, with the uh, highway department, the police and fire. Everything's you know going well, and they're getting new equipment, and things are going well. And I have like this small budget, and I'm just not getting anywhere. I just don't feel like I'm really 
So what I've done in the past is I've taken time off as though it was comp time to equate the fact that I'm you know, not being paid for all the hours that I do additionally. So I'm just trying to get back to, you know, and then another year that I came before the budget committee, they said, well, because of your position, we really can't give you an increase, so why don't we look at doing, like, you know, bonuses or, um, you know, some form of additional fees. So that's what I thought the stipend would do. Because, you know, since I've started, I've initiated um, the mail-in renewal letters, uh, the mail-in dog licenses. I have the uh, voting by ballot easily now. Um, we've instituted new hours that are, you know, people are thrilled about. We've done a drop-off box. I continue to try to do things that I think I'm, you know, doing a good job at what I do. But, I mean, $2.50 in six years is, it's just not, I just don't think it's fair. Did you, so, did you have a big, so, would you be, uh, satisfied if the election statement went up to 500? I would. And, um, you know, this particular board has asked me to keep track of my time, which I've done in the past. I did it for you. And uh, it's well over $500 for the amount of hours that I you know, put in. And I do get paid for the day of the election. I get paid four hours for that day. But it's the work prior to and after that is really what I don't think any of you realize is how much time, how much preparation there is. It's even more this year with the security issues. Um, I can't even explain, you know, an absentee ballot, one absentee ballot, and I can receive well over 100. I have to touch it at least 14 times. From the time it comes in, you have to document when the person came in, whether they came by person, by mail, by fax. You have to document when they returned it. Um, it, it. It's an enormous process, and every time you have to sign in. So I, I can't do it and work the window at the same time. So I do it on off hours. And that's just one example. As you know, I have to test the ballots and well, just set up say, the election. It's not just testing, it's having a, it's publicly testing. Right. So it's, a, it's like a public hearing or a public display right. to uh, show the voters that the equipment, the equipment is, is working and that it's, you know, describe the safety of it and, right. uh, and that's an important process. Yeah. Uh, and even the counting thing. the ballots, so they have to all be counted twice and then, you know, it, it, when the election ends, I still have an enormous amount of paperwork that I have to do and the way that I have to file the stuff. It, it's just, it's a whole other job on top of what I'm already doing. And, you know, the autos to date are over 600,000. Um, when I started, they were about 250. So my dogs are up, my autos are up. Everybody and their brother has to have a new birth, marriage, or death certificate with the real ID. So that has bumped up an enormous amount of work. So it, it's not, I just, I just want to get paid appropriately for the time that I'm spending doing my job. Yeah, no, I just had a comment. I uh, got the calendar today. I think we yes, I have mine. Did you get yours today, too? As a supervisor of checklist. And every month of the year, there are several responsibilities that you have on that calendar with the Secretary of State. So it isn't just timed with the election process. It's year-round. We right. do, too, but as supervisors. But our requirements happen maybe five or six times a year. You are busy with this. Every month, of every the month, year, and every week, it's something. Yep. So, and and the secretary of state demands, demands accuracy on all of that, and the requirements to be timely and accurate are tremendous for the clerks, no matter where those clerks are, who are doing this work. Um, so, I just want to share that I got my calendar and flipping through it, marking out the days I was responsible for. I could see every week things you were every week. for. Every year, for my birthday for the five years, I'd have to be here that weekend, that Saturday. Which is lousy. I mean, I gotta come in just in case somebody emails me an absentee ballot on that day. I mean, it's just, it's trivial, but there's a lot more to it, and that's why I think I should get a, more of a stipend for that, because then when I don't have four elections, it drops back down. It's not a, you know, we're talking 
you know, a couple hundred dollars. It's not... I just see the town growing and increases and people getting increases and it's always a procedure for me. It has to, you have to form a committee. You have to, you know, why? I'm doing a good job, but you know, it's coming in and depositing it safely and... It's like in the public realm. Yeah, but nonetheless, can I ask a clarifying question? Well, they both had their hands up. So I didn't have some. Yeah, they did. I got a question. Do you have a proposed budget? Because all we have here is a selectman. I would like to have your proposed budget. I do. So we can one compare them. That I um, it doesn't submitted. help me just to go off the selectmen. I do have one that I submitted. And I brought other, you know, I don't want to get way into it, but there have been job postings for other town clerks, and they start at $25 an hour. I didn't even make $25 an hour. Thank you. And, and that's just in Dover. Those are local job postings. The only one that's going to get Oh, I just brought one. That was from my file. Sorry. Could you make a few to this calendar, please? And then I also brought articles of the very... Yeah, I see it. Every year, there's six or eight towns uh, where oh, tax collectors and town clerks are Thank you. stealing money from the tills. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, there's a lot of that going on. And I just think I need to be valued more for the fact that, you know, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't start getting paid, though. No. <laughs> I, have to ask, I have to ask you a key question. Yes. How much are you paid since I uh, If I get the 2% raise, I will still be under $25 an hour. I've done, no, I've done the calculations. We did it today. I'll be $24.55. How many hours? Based on what? Based on a 2% increase. No, on how many hours a week? 20. 52 weeks a year? Yes. I don't have my paperwork. Well, Chuck did it for me today based on the payroll. And I started at $22 in 2015. And if I were to get to 2%, it would be $24.55. And last year you had a comment, which I wish I had thought to respond to, that our part-time um, police officers weren't making as much as I am. But I have 25 years of experience in this job. So if you have a police officer that's been doing it for 25 years, then yes, we should be making equal to our money. But I have no retirement, no um, benefits. You know, I don't have clothing expense. I don't have vehicles. You know, I'm just an employee, and my budget is very small for the office. It's $25 an hour what you're looking for? No. What are you looking for? I'm looking for uh, the 2% and 500 for every election. So 2% puts you just below 25 plus 500 for Right. Election. It's still 24 25. So it would be, this is what I was just trying to clarify too. So that would be, the line currently reads $1,200 for the stipends. And so what, if we were to, uh, what you're asking is that if we increase it to 500, then that would be 2000 for that line. Right? So that's an increase of $800 on what the select board is asking. Did you say $800 bucks on what the select board is asking? I mean, I, it's, I, I work hard, and I do the job right, and, and I see everybody around me getting, um, I think, pay raises. Yeah, all 2% across the board. Well, no, not like Carolyn and Chuck and Bob and um, Mike. 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 And Chuck and Bob and the lieutenant. I mean, people, there are people that get pretty good bump ups without having to go through what I've had to go through for five years, every year, asking for what I feel I sh should be getting. And this year, um, like I said, in prior years, I've taken time off to offset the fact that I didn't get paid, but this year, as uh, Angela said, if you look at my calendar, I can't. I have something that I'm just booked Monday through Friday and Saturdays. How many hours a week do you work? I work 23 hours a week. And I get paid for 20. And and I get it. I'm elected. You know, that's all part of the job. But it, there are things I don't think anybody realizes. I have to do home births now. You know, I had three this year where I have to go to the home. And this is not, you know, this isn't that I, 
I walk in, I see the baby, I say, okay, sign the paperwork, and I walk out. I mean, you, you, I'm expected to go in and see that the baby exists, that it really, a live birth occurred. And that's because otherwise a hospital notifies you? Correct. And there's paperwork no associated. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to see more and more of it because hospital costs are outrageous. And these women are paying 95 bucks to have the baby at home. You know, it's just a, yeah, an economic thing. But people don't realize the things that additional. It sounds like, I, so I, I don't understand why, why and probably my ignorance, um, why you work 23 hours and only get paid for 20. Um, and then I'm wondering, it seems to me like you need more hours. It seems to me like I do, and, and I had proposed hours. that. It, and, you know, it's my work ethic that I work 23 hours a week. Okay. So do I come flying through the door at 9 o'clock, open the door, and try to open up the system and get my cash box out and, you know, spend five minutes while I have a customer waiting? No. I come in at 8.30, I answer my emails, I get my voicemails, because once my window opens, I may not get that voicemail that could be something pressing. Um, Thursday night, I had a woman come in to get a marriage certificate. She was getting her Social Security the next day. The vital records was down. I have to send her away. I have to come in the next morning before I open my window and call vital records <coughs> to get my vital records back up to print her marriage certificate so that she can come in at 9 and get it. This happens all the time. And I go to the bank twice a week. I'm required by the state because for the DMV, I have to go every Wednesday and Friday. Um, it just, it, but that's my work ethic. Do I have to work those hours? Can I be stubborn and say, no, I'm going to come in at 9 o'clock on the dot and I'm going to, you know, not do the deposits and not are you paid for any hours at the office? Is it open? The office isn't open. And do you, do you have, you know, four hours a week where the office isn't open to do stuff like that, or are you only there? No, when but the I come in. But that's right, when right, I right. pay yeah, yeah, Sundays. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I hear you. Two years ago, when I took Fridays off, I basically was here every Friday, just because I don't have to answer the phone, jump up to the window. What do get? That's yeah. when you can do things. Can I make a clarification though for us before we get off the top? So you're saying you work 23 hours a week. That's when you take your summer Fridays off to get reimbursed, so to say, from that. So she gets calm time every Friday in the summer. She has off. But, so now I have an election. Just a second, Suzanne's had her hand up for a little while. Well, it's, it's always tricky to talk about an elected official because it's not an hour of the She's not an employee. Right. So she's right. not. Just the pay hourly. Nonetheless, one tries when you're making a case to provide some equivalencies, right, so that we can better understand it. But <coughs> the town clerk has set hours, and you know, she, she, in this case, she has a has a stipend in which to try to get done the work that she gets done. And what Kate is telling us is that it comes down to about you know a little under twenty five dollars an hour with the twenty three hours a week you know, with the two percent. So, and it's also true, and I'll make this case, that the fact that, you know, that office, that front office works is to the benefit of all of us. I mean, that's not a small matter, like Kate said, and I'm neither advocating nor not for the, for the increase, but just, it is, because it was one of the things that would worry me on the board. We have to trust our employees. We don't have enough of us, there are not enough of us, to have the appropriate financial controls that more complex organizations have. And that's why we hear about things like this nonprofit over there and that town over there and that whatever, you know, employees have been um, embezzling. And we have been very lucky in this town to not have that. And it is, that trust is a really huge thing to have. And, you know, sometimes maybe we have to pay a little bit for it. Okay, so I had a question circling back to your comment, Denise, about comp time versus this uh, increase in stipend. How would that get managed? Then? Would that continue to be Fridays, the office is closed? I mean, I'm not We don't, sure. we're not asked, we're told that the office is closed. 
is not our choice, it's her choice. Well, because the town park does have that problem. That's what I'm saying. So we and can give her a, a raise and she can still take Fridays off. Well, I guess my question is, are you then not working 23 hours a week in those in the summer months when the office is closed? Well, as <laughs> Carolyn will tell you, I'm here most of those Fridays. I do come in a lot of them. Um, I do it because if I'm not going to get paid for those hours, I'm going to back them out. And it's not uncommon for a lot of clerks because if you look through the calendar, July, August, and September die off for us. We're done with the dogs, the town report, the town meetings. We're done with all of it. And it's a quiet time. And it's a time where we can back our time out. And it's easier for me to take a Friday than to take weeks off. If I for weeks of time, it's going to be more difficult for Andrea to cover for both positions. It just it's easier to do so the Friday. You do take weeks off as well. Three. I have taken three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. But what you Plus got, the other days. But you're saying that I use that comp time for my 23 hours, but that was time from the elections. I don't know because you don't tell me what the comp time is. You're just saying you take it to make up the times that you're not going to pay. Yeah. I don't I know am, where it's coming from, but I, am, I don't control it either because you don't work for me. Right. You work for the town. Right. And so we, we cannot control what happens, and that's why we chose not to do this. And they've asked me to keep track of it for a year, which I've done before. And I'm as honest as the day is long. I keep track of my hours. I know how many I work and how many I should take off. I'm not the type that's going to, you know, ask for more money and then take off an enormous amount of time that I don't deserve. I'm going to do one or the other. But when you're working these hours and you're not getting paid for it and they don't want you to take the time off, then it's not right. Then I'm... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I do. So, what is the revenue the town clerk takes in for the year? Six hundred thousand. I'm over like six hundred thousand as of today. Okay, so six hundred thousand or so. For motor vehicles. What is the revenue that the tax collector takes in for the town? Roughly three six, three eight. I think she's up to six million, isn't she? Yeah, like what you say today must be because the school is oh, it's, it's about five or six million because we collect on behalf right, so of the state and the education taxes. Say five point six million. So I, I'm just going to ask a question. Why does she not have any, any representation of the budget mm -hmm. I was going to be the tax collector who collects oh. most of the revenue for the town. Because she doesn't have her own budget. No, she and I follow these categories that are See, it's, just, I don't understand what you're telling me. She's not elected. She's an employee of the town that falls under the so she has administration. No, so she has no say except for the board. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying she that she's no never reason. asked to come. She's okay. never asked to come to the board of selectmen and present her budget. Okay. If you don't ask, how do we know that you're not happy? So I'm just asking. I know, I'm just saying that but we haven't been asked. So, so I'm just going to go back to one point to this. Suzanne brought up because I'm listening carefully on the importance of the few employees we have in this town. And you brought up yourself, sir. Um, you know, two percent every year. It's just I know what they're saying. So that might be something to think about too. If I were an average employee, I'm and I wasn't, out, I'm we just weren't, you know, we weren't trying to really improve things and better the office, then two percent is adequate. So I sat, I sat here last year, and they also asked for three percent. We got, I believe, two percent. So this is the second year or third year that asked for three percent, and we got two percent, right? <coughs> so I'm just bringing that up. <coughs> See this. Question, um, question I have: the difference between what you're getting and what the town is offering currently is 800 bucks, is that correct? Yeah. So we're arguing about 800 bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's going to be my comment as well. And, you know, I want you both all to know, Andrew and I walk out of here and we make more an hour outside of this building than we do here. But we love our town, we love our jobs, we, we love our rapport, it, and we're not here to threaten to quit. But, you know, $2.50 in six years, you know, I could do better at McDonald's. They, you know, I could be better at the private sector. I don't make as much as when I left my job six years ago. And, and, and I, 
I just don't think it's right. I think the town is going forward. You're, I'm seeing appreciation for other departments, and I was disappointed because um, I know how many hours that I put in. I'm just gonna. I think unless other people have questions more about this compensation, my question is going to be: Are there other things in your budget that you wanted to talk to us about? Um, no, I mean I'm fortunate that I don't have. A big budget. I got a printer and a large monitor because I have cataracts and I'm happy as like to do cartwheels. That that's all I needed. But we don't really, you know, unless you think there's something we could do that's, you know, to See, add to our budget. That would, that's my thing. Well, I just it's just it's hard. It's hard to see how the departments being recognized and getting new equipment and things and we're just talking about a small amount of money and I see everybody knows I put several of those clerks behind bars in other towns. Yeah. I have them on parole. So I know dealing with trouble it's going on. Yeah it's big money. They're places. walking away with like, quick money. And and I will say and you can verify this through our auditors, that um, some auditors take six months to do the books. It, he's in and out of our office, and we're not off by a penny. And that saves the town money, because he's not spending an enormous amount of time. What, what we collected is there. It's there, and it's deposited on a timely basis, and it's running this town, and we just want to be compensated for it. I think we're going to spend some time on salaries this year. And that's but another. Everybody. And and I heard that. And now we all know the tax rate has been set, and the rate went down, and that's great. But we also know the it's rate's rough. going up next year. So I can record all my hours for this year, and next year I can come before this board, and they're going to say, eh, you know, rate's going up. It's not really the year to give you rates. It's something every year. <laughs> so. so the tax rate itself going down, that's a recommendation from who? The state will supply all the numbers and the state determines our, our tax rate based, based on, the on current, our revenues and expenses. And the current budget that's before it's not. So it's just current current basically because of the school. The right, curiosity question is so if you knew next year's tax rate for the new website by 3%. Can you pull oh, a number in between? Right. I so we already so, know. You can't increase it. You, you, can't, you can go down, but you can't go up. So they've said. So you can't, like, go 2% this year knowing that next year is going to be 4% instead mm -hmm. of hitting the town with 2% or 2%. You, you mean the tax rate? Yes. You have to My understanding is you cannot, mm -hmm. in, uh, cannot uh, increase it. You only can decrease it using your fund. I can elaborate to any like anybody wants to hear, but the short answer is no. Yeah. We did actually put it up 15%. 15 cents. Uh, 15 cents the board has some discretion. It's really hard to make it go up. It's very difficult to combat $300,000 that came back from the school. Right. Um, so we got, we got it up 15 cents. It took $60,000 so so to make it go up. We, could, we only could do it based on um, what is it, the overlay. Or, so yeah. to so, so make it go up, you have to under-report your revenues, um, or you um, need to increase the overlay, and the overlay is what you anticipate in giving back out in abatements. So, you know, it's, it's kind of an artificial manipulation, um, but you can't do it to the degree that, you know, to counteract $300,000 okay. back from the school. All right. Not nearly. There's just nothing we can do about it. I mean, it's Not great for this year, but... See, you, where, hydro fund. you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Where? Hydro See what the school did, they went down two hundred thousand on their budget. So that was almost the call. I bet all that. And then another three hundred thousand. So that's why the tax rate is low. But so they were already making the school. Are you gonna laugh? You're making it sound like a bad thing. No. 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 So this year it's a good thing. Next right? year not so. So we anticipate this with the school name, you anticipate they they went like this. Yeah. And it's going like this. Yeah. Or just back to normal. Um, back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. We will know more on tomorrow, tomorrow? night. <laughs> <laughs> right. So do we, do we have more questions?
question. No, so that so my fear was that this year I can record all the hours I work. I can't take the time off because of my stringent schedule with elections, and and I don't get the pay increase. So at the end, so at the end, what do I get? I get to say, all right, I worked, you know, 92 hours that I didn't get paid for and I didn't take time off for. Now where do I stand? That's my concern. Because I've, you know, after six years, you know what you're going to do. You anticipate, you have, you know what, what we're up against. And this year, from what I've seen, it's going to be a great deal more work because of the security. As Angela can tell you, it's everything I do, I have to do four times. So. Physical, is this physical security that the state is requiring? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We now have, so, and I'm on a timer. So if I sit down to do absentee ballots, I have a 16-word password that I have to put in, and then it texts me a code on my phone, and then I have to take the code and enter it. And then I start on my process, and then I get somebody. And I have to stop and come back, so I don't, I can't do it when my window's open. Because these timers, everything I do, marriage, death, birth, anything we do in the state is on a timer. You mean it times out if you yes. spend two yeah. if you're okay. minutes. Only yeah. so long. Yeah, 20 minutes. And you know, my transactions are 10, 15 minutes. So by the time I get back... you got five minutes, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> anyways, yeah, that's, yeah, I got five minutes already. Anyways, so that's why I've come tonight. It's a repeat of what I said last year, and... Um, well, we, we've got what you're asking for. Thank you. In this, so we can discuss it. Is there any other questions? And I'm not trying to go about the board. I went to the board with the same, um, you know, proposal. I went to them first, and I just felt the need to come and say that I'm coming again. Thank you, Katie. Okay. Thanks, Katie. Thanks. Have a good night. Stay warm. Um, well, miscommunication. Uh, miscommunication. My, my, my fault. Right. So how are we, how, remind me again how we're going to incorporate all the ones that have been open in 20 years? Uh, so we have one and one the last one was So we have, um, we're, we're pushing the library to where we have recreation and entertainment. <coughs> then we've got one in the um the same the same the same. The same. Okay, so water and sewer is coming on the fourth, which is the same date that we're gonna be doing our first deliberation of the budgets that we've had so far. Is that at six? Does that have that right? And we move that to six o'clock. What is next week? Next week is recreation library. 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 the Library. 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 Six o'clock on the fourth. Uh, all right. Okay. And is there any other? Any other budget? Any other budget? Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Charlie. Question five. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Yeah, I got the answer.